Man, <laughs> this thing, I don't know why it just auto starts all the time. I'm not ready. <laughs> I just had a two minute video of me dancing around in my room because it started and I didn't know. <laughs> oh well. Um, hey guys, what's up? Ashley here, and it's the number 108 of Giggling. Welcome back to another edition of Confessions of Giggler. That's me, I'm your Giggler. Um, what should we talk about today? I don't know. <laughs> um, I am not really prepared. <laughs> That's why I wasn't ready to start. Um, so, I know, the lighting is... I really have to find a better time of day to do this because if I lean forward when I get excited, then like my face is all in the sun. But then if I lean back, I'm like in the dark. And then there's this weird line that cuts across, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> so I'll try to sit back. Um, hmm. What should we say? What should we say? Okay, so there's been a lot of fun things going on. Um, like we had our whole O Town weekend and we did the, the Disney animation experience and um and then it was the Backstreet Boys anniversary. So there was just a lot of fun fun things happening to distract me from my real life. I mean, obviously all this stuff is my real life also. Like I'm I really do go to all these things and I really do love them all. I just mean like my like normal day to day stuff, right? So um, as I've stated many, many a times in the recent past that I'm really struggling with my job right now. And, um, you know, I mean, it's other things like the job is the big one right now. <laughs> that's like, that's taken over all things. So I guess I all like these other things that I have going on in my brain, like they're, they're there still, but the job is the, is the big one. It's the big one. <laughs> um, so, I'm not sure how much I've said, but I have been at this at this job for 15 years <laughs> since um, since I graduated. This was my first job after I graduated uh, college, and I did leave for a little over a year in the middle there, and then stupidly came back <laughs> but I've the point is I've been here a very long time I'm comfortable with it uh I I have certain perks from being there a long time but now like I over the years I've had like waves of like I really got to get out to okay I guess I'm, it's fine as long as no one's bothering me I'll do my work and it's fine um so like it's it's come and go and the waves that when when I feel like okay it's really it's really time to go I gotta go um they've never really been like that bad that that I didn't that I couldn't convince myself to stay because I mean I am a tourist <laughs> It is tourist season today. It's, tourist season starts today. Um, so I am a tourist, and part of being a tourist is we are fixed, fixed sign, and we don't really like change all that much. Um, we actively resist it. So it's just easier to stay where I was comfortable because, like, yes, it, it's been bad, but it was never, like, that bad. And it was always, like, well, at least I like this, this, and this, or whatever. Or I have this perk and that perk, and I don't know if I'm going to get that if I go somewhere else. And then it's, like, oh, the devil you know versus the devil you don't know. So I've always kind of stayed. And I'm never, like, truly happy. I haven't been truly happy there for a while. Um, and it was kind of just a job right and it was a means it was my job to pay for my adventures to pay my bills to pay for me to go to Disney World for me to go to all my concerts um you know I you need income to do these things so <laughs> I you know I need my job <laughs> and uh yeah so now with this recent like in the within these recent weeks, I 
really am really miserable there. <laughs> like, really. Like, I feel better when I'm home because I'm not, like, actually in the office and, like, just getting angry with everything. <laughs> um, but I really do not. I am not a fan of going into the office. I don't, I mean, like, going to an office is fine, just not that, like, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't go to that office. I keep leaning back because the sun is setting and then it's going in my face. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I just, I just really, really need to find a new job. So, through all this, like, anger that I have towards my job right now that, that has come on, in these last few weeks um, that I've been dealing with this anger and the stress and just everything that's been piling up um, instead of taking it and just being incredibly stressed out and incredibly upset about it I am going to turn that around and I am using that as the fuel I need to actually leave like I'm really doing it this time and I don't think that anyone is taking me seriously then I'm really going to leave. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I've been applying to new jobs almost every day. Like, um, I decided to, I, I've, and I've applied to at least 10 different jobs so far. So I'm going to kind of wait to see what shakes out from that. Um, and then, you know, maybe next week, I'll apply to some more, but I am not going to give up until I find a better job with better salary. And I'm just, um, I'm just really determined this time. I'm not going to like stop looking, um, you know, so I'm really taking all of this in and I'm just using it to push me forward. And I keep praying that I will find I will find my way and that everything will be better. And I just, I know I am a big believer in everything happens for a reason. So, um, and so I know that all this bad, like all this, like, uh, <laughs> you know, <coughs> all of this, <coughs> sorry, I'm choking on my, my own, uh, Sorry, <laughs> I get emotional. Why am I like this? Um, so yeah, so all of this, like, everything that's going on right now, I, I, all of this is, like, has to happen for me to move forward and have a better future and not just stay stuck here because that's how I felt for quite a while. I've, I really have, I felt stuck in this role that I've been in for at least five years, I've felt sick, probably longer than that. But I just, this is the way that I'm finally getting out. And I think, I know it's so silly. Like people, people like switch jobs all the time. Clearly I don't do that. <laughs> so like, I am, I feel like I'm being very brave. <laughs> by taking this on and I keep like I keep singing like Elsa in my head like into the unknown and I just I, like it's time it's time and I have to do this for me and I can't I can't keep staying stuck because I feel bad for leaving like leaving whatever behind I can't I can't like worry about that I have to worry about me and what's best for, for me and for my future. So I'm really, I'm really proud of myself for like taking these steps to move forward and to, to get out of a toxic, what I consider to be a toxic work environment. Um, yeah. So I just, I just really hope that, um, I find whatever, what the universe or God or whoever you believe in, whatever is out there for me, I hope that I can find it. And I just, I just really truly believe that this is the path that I have to go on. And while it stinks really, like it's rough right now and it's not easy, but um, I'm going to get through it 
I'm going to get through the other side and I'm going to be a better person for it. And I'm really sorry that the lighting is terrible, but like I said, the sun is setting and I'm trying to not have the sun in my eyes. Um, but yeah, so now I'm cry like, why am I, why am I crying? <laughs> um, so yeah. And that's it. That's we're gonna, we're gonna do this guys. You're on this journey with me. <laughs> so we could do it. All right. Um, that's going to be it for me for today. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you.